What is up, YouTube? Ultimate Lock here, and today we're going to be going over a major plot hole with Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Now, this might not really be a plot hole, but it's something that's very major, and it really affects the entire Jurassic World universe. Uh, a lot of people are probably not going to really care too much about this, but for the people who really like Jurassic World and Jurassic Park, they're going to really care about this. And this is going to be kind of a, like a debated topic. I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me on this, but let's face facts. I'm going to be right on this, right? Uh, there's... There's a lot of stuff here, and if you're really interested in actually reading the books, uh, which is Jurassic Park and Jurassic uh, Park, I shouldn't say Jurassic Park, Lost World, the Lost World novel, both by uh, Michael Creighton, then you should most likely click off this video because there are going to be some spoilers, but if you're not actually interested in reading them and you've just seen the movies, then essentially there's not going to be really any spoilers. Even if you haven't seen Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, uh, again, you've essentially know the entire plot if you've seen the trailers like there's nothing really groundbreaking about uh, the movie other than oh my gosh they're trying to get the dinosaurs off the island they got the dinosaurs off the island something goes terribly wrong and now chris pratt and blue have to fight the indoraptor right you've literally seen that entire sequence throughout the trailers so there's really nothing to be ruined uh, obviously you're just seeing how it gets from point a to b and again the movie was good and everything but i'm just going to be going over basically the critical flaws that i see in the movie and basically the massive uh the massive thing that again it might not be a plot hole i more along the lines of think it, this is what the corrector uh, the director is taking as a creative approach and what he's basically taking away from the series and making it his own which is very very interesting and uh it, it's actually pretty cool so uh let's jump into it right now so first things first you need to know that there's two islands with dinosaurs on it right and there's isla nublar which is the home of the movies jurassic park jurassic world and jurassic world fallen kingdom so that is very very important isla nublar for movies one four and five okay and then there's Isla Sorna. Isla Sorna is the second island with dinosaurs. This was the island that InGen actually bred all the dinosaurs on, used as a uh, basically a manufacturing plant, and then transferred the dinosaurs over from Isla Sorna to Isla Nublar. Ian Malcolm, aka the Chaos Theorist Jeff Goldblum, decided that he was going to go off and he took the tour. And then he realized, once he took the tour, that there was no way that on Isla Nublar, the original Jurassic Park, they could have actually bred the dinosaurs there because the park was far too small and they're having so too high of a successful yield of new dinosaur species. So he theorized that there was a second island that they actually bred the dinosaurs on and they basically went through all the entire process there, raised them, and then once they reached maturity, they had bring them over to Jurassic Park. So that's very important. In the movies, they don't really go over that. We just know that they did breed dinosaurs on the second island and that some crazy crap happened and they all left it once uh, InGen went bankrupt. So it's like, okay, you now know some things. It's not nothing too major, but what's really the entire point of what I'm trying to say with the two islands with dinosaurs? Well, if you've seen Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, you know the entire, like, basically plot of the uh, movie is to save the dinosaurs. Save the dinosaurs from what? Extinction. That's literally the entire theme, is that they're saving the dinosaurs from extinction. If they stay on the island, the dinosaurs are going to go extinct because the lava is going to kill them, etc. Well, the problem with that is that you obviously know by watching this video, or if you recently read the books slash watched the original movies, that there's two islands with dinosaurs on them. So that doesn't make any sense. If all the dinosaurs on Isla Nublar get completely wiped out, then all the dinosaurs on Isla Sorna would still be alive, correct? And if we go onto the website, we go to the Mastrani documents, it basically says that Isla Sorna is now a restricted place where all the dinosaurs can live happily ever after, right? And the problem with that is, is that that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. If that was the case, there wouldn't be such a big issue with the volcanic eruption. And it wouldn't be an issue that would cause extinction. If you watch the movie again, uh, Fallen Kingdom, Claire calls up the congresswoman and she goes up and says, your kids have been growing up with dinosaurs all their lives. Wouldn't it be a shame if they were to go extinct. Again, Isla Sorna exists. If they were all to die on Isla Nublar, they want to go extinct. In the Congress hearing, Jeff Goldblum basically says that we should just let the dinosaurs go extinct. It's not really our basically, it's not our problem that they're going to all die. And the guy asks, is this like the divine uh, intervention of God? And Jeff Goldblum says, no, this is just nature taking its course. So again, it's the entire situation of, well, the nature is going to take its course. All the dinosaurs are going to die. They're all going to go extinct. 
Same thing, right? It, it's just essentially extinction. Again, Isla Sorna exists, according to the Mastrani website. So here's how I view it, right? Mastrani website doesn't really mean crap, okay? The directors are the ones who decide where the storyline goes, what stays and what sticks. Universal obviously gives the basically the thumbs up saying, okay, I agree with this script, this script works, right? That doesn't mean that everything that you get from Universal, according to the storyline, actually lines up with the Jurassic World universe. For example, the Monstrani website, right? That is literally just information that is thrown out as Easter egg footage to hype people up for the movie. Literally has nothing else to do with it. For example, the San Diego incident never happened. If the San Diego incident happened, there would have been a mention in it somewhere throughout the congressman here come on like a t-rex going around eating people in san diego you don't think that would have been brought up no one would have said anything about that oh yeah we're talking about rescuing the dinosaurs that actually went through and destroyed it and people are referencing the fact that it happened 20 years ago shit if that happened 20 years ago and they're talking about rescuing dinosaurs they're still gonna be going off they're still gonna be going off and referencing that right so it's very important that you understand this because what does this really all mean? And you're going to have a lot of people are saying, like, this doesn't really mean that much at all, does it? Well, yeah, it does. Because the fact that if Isla Sorna doesn't exist, then right now we have a trilogy. We don't have six movies in a row. We have a trilogy currently, and it's going to end in four movies. So you have Jurassic Park 1. You have Jurassic World, which is the sequel to Jurassic Park 1. You have Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And then you have Jurassic Park Four, which is whatever the heck they decide to name it which will be the final one in the quadro series or whatever you want to call it so the lost world and jurassic park 3 never existed so that means that we're not going to see the spinosaurus and we're not going to see anything along those lines now this could all change right and the way that it could change is that if for whatever reason the blu-ray of fallen kingdom they decide to add some special features referencing isla sorna which i highly doubt because they would have definitely referenced it in the original movie there wouldn't shouldn't be no extra things or in the next movie they take go to isla sorna or they reference it in some way shape or form other than that then it's pretty rock solid that yes isla sorna does not exist now they could say again could say if they're going to go by the books which they already ignored the first one already because according to uh the first jurassic park the costa rican government actually bombed uh isla uh, nublar which killed all the dinosaurs which means that the tyrannosaurus rex from jurassic world would never have existed because that's the exact same one from the first movie and again, if they bombed it, then that most likely means that the visitor center, everything along those lines, the jeeps in Jurassic World would have never existed again because they would have been destroyed in the bombings. But the second novel in the series, The Lost World, might have the answers we're looking for. So I made a timeline right here of the major parts of the series. So in June 1993, Jurassic Park incident happened, which caused the destruction and death of multiple people and all the uh, dinosaurs escaped. Now, let's just say we're not going by the book, so the park remained. Okay, in May 2005, they, wrap, they essentially built Jurassic World. So they rounded up all the dinosaurs from Jurassic Park on the same island and they made Jurassic World. December 2015 is when Jurassic World, the movie, takes place and the entire incident with the Indominus Rex, which led to the entire park being destroyed, lots of people dying, and the raptors getting loose and everything along those lines. Now, three years after the fact, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom takes place. Now, this is how it is. This is the timeline, right? We don't know anything really about the Lost World or Jurassic Park 3 when it comes to this timeline because again in my personal opinion they're not canon right what we've seen so far is that again Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom the entire premise of it is extinction right all the dinosaurs are going to die and they're going to be gone forever right that's it and even though I, that doesn't even really make sense because there's still researchers with the DNA strands and everything and even if like like the entire premise of of how this all works is that even if they f killed off every single dinosaur there'd still be dna left over to go and get them but basically missing that fact all the dinosaurs created currently would have been killed and that would cause an extinction now if we look at the second book the lost world right at the very end of it uh it is explained that all the dinosaur or i should say yeah pretty much every single dinosaur has prions 
and prions are a disease that is the result of engine not knowing what to feed the dinosaurs so essentially in the first book dr grant was basically asked multiple times what to feed baby dinosaurs what do you think their uh, basically intake would be and he was a uh, basically he was a consultant and he was like making jokes about it and it turns out that InGen literally had no idea what the hell they were doing after they created said dinosaurs and they were wondering why they kept on dying. So they decided to give them goat's milk to basically bottle feed the dinosaurs up until they were able to eat actual stuff. So the herbivores were fine, but what they ended up doing was they did a sheep blend for the carnivores. So the carnivores ended up being a sheep blend, and what ended up happening from that is they got prions. Now, prions is an actual disease that essentially is completely harmless to you unless you ingest it. Once you ingest it, you end up getting, uh, or cows get mad cow disease, etc. And it basically destroys your immune system in a sense, or something along those lines, and you take on many other diseases as a result of it. So... Every dinosaur in the Lost World ended up having that because all the carnivores would attack the herbivores. And even if they didn't get a successful attack off, those herbivores would then spread it to other herbivores. The compies would spread it, etc, etc, etc. So all the dinosaurs had it. Now, at this timeline, June 1993 was when the Jurassic Park incident happened. The Lost World, aka Isla Sorna, was also going on during 1993. And they once they closed up the facilities, the prion basically the prion problem continued to grow and continued to grow and every single dinosaur had prions at that point when the lost world happened now if you go off and you think okay well prions that's not that bad there were still dinosaurs during that time yes but in the novels all the dinosaurs were basically not able to reach full maturity by the time they had reached full maturity the prions would have basically caused them to die so it is a possibility that they didn't follow the first novel, but they did follow the ending of the second novel. And if they followed the ending of the second novel, there is literally 25 years between the first movie and the Fallen Kingdom movie. That is more than enough time for every single dinosaur to die of the disease. The, in the Mastrani uh, documents, they did say that basically the island has been sealed off. And there is a potential that uh, that means that the disease just went rampage and killed everything but it still sounds as if there's dinosaurs on the island and if that was the case i'm sure that they if there was like something to do with prions i'm pretty sure they would have mentioned it once they took some of the dinosaurs from isla sorna and they put them onto uh isla nublar but again we don't really know too much but from what we've seen so far it's very 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 safe to say that isla sorna has no dinosaurs or doesn't exist because the entire theme of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is extinction. And without that theme, the movie kind of loses its entire base. It kind of loses its entire plot. Because if there's another island with dinosaurs, then what's the real point of like going off and rescuing all these dinosaurs off this island? There really isn't. Like, sure, there's like a small humanitarian effort of where, oh, we got to protect the dinosaurs because we created them and everything. But the entire theme is extinction. And it's not extinction if there's other animals, especially considering the fact that in the Lost World, we saw, saw tons of dinosaurs, like literally tons of dinosaurs. And it wasn't anything along those lines. So as always, guys, hopefully you like this video. I know I took a long time to explain this, but I wanted to go over a lot of information because this is a pretty big, pretty big deal. Like a lot of people might just say, wow, this is way overkill, but uh, I just figured to give my thoughts out there because it's, I don't know, I, I like Jurassic World series. I think that the sixth movie, hopefully, or I should say the fourth movie in the saga, is going to be good. Uh, I don't know if they are going to bring Isla Sorna back. I don't really, I don't think so. I'm like saying about 95 to 97% chance that's gone. The entire next movie is most likely going to focus on the dinosaurs now on the mainland. I don't see why they would go off and uh, have the dinosaurs be on the mainland and then just now take it to Isla Sorna. But there is a possibility, a slight possibility, that the next theme of the movie will be the dinosaurs are on the mainland, Chris Pratt and Claire have to go collect the dinosaurs and take them to Isla Sorna. That is the only possible way I can see that Isla Sorna coming back into the Jurassic World universe. Other than that, I don't think that it is. Again, I don't, I don't, I take the uh, Mastrani website 
with a grain of salt. I think that the entire creative directive is going to be gone basically on the directors of the movie. Uh, the movies are not going to obviously follow the books, and the books are pretty much now essentially like done. There's like there's nothing that's going to actually affect the movies. I think so. It's just a wait and see. Uh, but yeah, maybe the sixth movie they might go back to Isla Sorna to drop off the dinosaurs that have all broken loose. But there's really not that many dinosaurs that are like to make it where it's that big of a deal. But uh, as always, thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe, and peace out.